Hello friends, welcome back to the vlog. I'm Sam if you didn't know and we're gonna be doing a few like days in my life leading up to our California vacation Which we're leaving on Friday night. It's currently Wednesday at like 10 or something like that um, And today's gonna be a fun day. Sage and I are both getting our hair done So I'm getting my hair dyed darker and Sage is getting his cut He hasn't cut his hair in like literally a year or a year and a half or something. It's so long I love his long hair, but it's it's time to go. I think he wears a hat every single day because it's really hard to like maintain. So it's time for the long hair to go, which is sad. It's the end of an era, but he's going to get that cut right now. And then my hair appointment is at one, so it's a little bit later. I need to get ready for the day at first because I can never go do like a drastic transformation on my hair without makeup on because I just feel like I look horrible after it's done. And then after the haircut, I'm actually going to get my nails done as well with my friends that are going on the trip with us. And I think we're also going shopping to get a few like last minute essential type things. So the rundown for our trip is Friday night, we're leaving from Detroit and we're getting into LAX at like midnight or something super, super late. And the next day we're going to Disneyland. So Saturday we're going to Disney. I'm so excited. We've been to Disney World, but we've never been to Disneyland. We're going to the California Adventure, which is like not the Magic Kingdom. It's like the other one. I've heard that Magic Kingdom in California is very similar to Magic Kingdom in like Florida. And I feel like California Adventure is something that you're not going to get in Florida, so we decided to go to that one. So that will be all day Saturday. And Sunday, I am so excited. We're driving down to Palm Springs. We're going to have like brunch in Palm Springs. We're going to explore a little bit. And then we're going to Joshua Tree National Park. We have a super cute Airbnb. It has like a hot tub, a little hammock. I am so excited. Joshua Tree has been on my bucket list of like places to like take pictures, visit for so long. And we're also going to take like some really cool pictures when we're there. So I'm excited. We're wearing like all black. It's going to be very cool. <laughs> I'm sure you guys will see it on the gram if you don't follow me. Follow me there shameless plug. So we're spending the night in Joshua Tree and then the following day We're actually driving up um, Into Nevada and we're going to Las Vegas. This is kind of for the boys So it's actually like a couple's trip It's three gals three guys and they all love gambling of course So we're going to Vegas. I've never been to Vegas. So I'm really excited But on the way we're hitting like the Mojave National Forest. We're hitting like the seven magic mountains, which are those like um, They're like they're like rocks. They're painted different colors. If you live in Las Vegas, you might know what I'm talking about. Or like if you've been to that area, they're these giant rocks. They're like all different neon colors I just want to take a picture with. And then Tuesday we fly out. So it's going to be a very jam-packed, eventful weekend. I need to pack later this week. I need to get all our outfits. Like I have no idea what I'm even wearing. So we'll see. But today we're getting rid of this. And we're doing something with these. If you know me, you know that I pick my nails really, really bad. Like I constantly picking them till they bleed. It's uh, my anxious, horrible habit. But when they're done, like when I get them done, I don't pick them because like I just paid to have them done. So um, they're really short. They're kind of picked up right now. So I'm hoping the manicure artists can like work their magic. Um, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna get like a color, maybe like a green or something. I'll take you guys along with me though. All right guys. You look like you're getting your passport picture taken. Damn, getting it's my against, passport. <laughs> it's against the white wall. Um, going to get my hair cut. It's been, for sure over a year. I don't know how long I've had this, but uh, definitely it was cool to have it while I had it, but it's just a lot. My hair's really thick, and as you can see, it's really Give dry. Give us a full 360. And, yeah, okay, so. Oh yeah. So yeah, really I'm long. I'm gonna miss it. <laughs> it's about all the same length everywhere, so. I think it's just time to go. I never wanted to like grow it out to here. I think it's just, I wanted the, you know, the little bit of a flow, so. Yeah, I think it's time to go, and uh, We'll keep you updated with what it looks like soon. Okay, we're ready. Here is today's outfit. It's giving spring, but it's sunny out. So I feel like we're close enough to spring to wear the white pants. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm wearing them anyway. These pants are really long and baggy though. I cuffed them like a bunch of times and I feel like they kind of look weird. I don't remember them being this long, but that's okay. We'll, we'll just go with it. I think Sage is on his way home from the haircut, so I'm really excited to see his hair. He said it was a 7 out of 10, so we will see. I'm sure he looks very handsome. And then I am leaving shortly, probably right when he gets home, honestly, to go to my hair appointment. So we will see you there. I'm back, and I have dark hair. It looks so dark on camera. I mean, it's pretty dark, but it looks like really dark on camera. Um, so yes, I love it. It is like fully dark. Like we didn't leave any highlights really in it. She did do like some of it, um, like a lighter brown so that 
I don't know, like I feel like it still has so much dimension and it's not like all just one color, but it's exactly what I wanted. It's so like rich and I wanted to just feel like chocolatey rich, like just a nice classic medium brown. And she knocked it out of the park as always. So if you're in the Toledo area, Lindsay's the best. I can, get, she's one of my best friends. So um, she really is the best though. It's very unbiased when I say that. <laughs> I am obsessed. We're gonna go inside. We're gonna get Sage's reaction. Maybe I'll film it. And then I'm gonna show you his hair as well. Okay. Yeah. Look. yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, here's a reveal for both of our hair. Mine looks really dark right here. Yeah, hold on, I'm coming. Okay, here's mine. You're it's taller. not tall enough. <laughs> okay, so this is my hair. There's Sammy. Um, nice. So basically, I just wanted to go short, something that I could easily maintain, but I didn't want to go too short and then have to wait for it to grow out a little bit. So I went a little bit longer than I wanted to, but uh, one thing I've never done before, I've never really had this all kind of flow, so I'll probably try to style it a few different ways over the next couple days, but I haven't showered yet or done anything with it. So for now, it's just going to stay this way. But there you go. Yep. Okay, it's a few hours later, we're back in the car. I feel like we've been in the car this entire vlog, but I'm um, going to get the nails done. Here's the before. You can't really see them, but they're kind of grimy. I think I'm gonna do like a green color. I'm thinking either like the color of my jacket or, I don't know, I don't know. I changed because I was not very warm in my other outfit. We're gonna be like shopping and stuff and I wanna make sure I'm like not freezing my little butt off. We're gonna go get the nails done. I'm gonna go shopping a little bit. I'll take you guys along. I probably won't like talk anymore. Um, maybe we'll try to do a little like montage of everything. But uh, yeah, after that, I need to go get like a side dish for our dinner tonight. We're having beef tenderloin, but I don't have any like sides. So I might get like potatoes and asparagus on the way home. But um, yeah, so far, overall a successful day. We both got our hair done. We're looking good. Good morning guys, it's the next day. I kind of forgot I was vlogging until just now, so it's like noon or 12.30, but I haven't done much today. I had a work meeting, laid in bed for a while, and then I went through and I like picked out all the outfits I'm taking on vacation. We're gonna run back to the store because basically yesterday, our nail appointment like ran really late and then the mall closed at eight and we got there at like 7.15, so we didn't really get a chance to like do a lot of shopping or like I didn't get anything for myself. I got Sage a couple things, um, but I didn't get anything for myself, so I'm going again with my other friend, um, and I might hit a couple other places. I'm looking for like a few last minute things. I want to go and get like a Vegas dress because I want to look like hot for once. Not that I like don't look hot, but or something a little like saucy, you know. And um, I haven't been in college in a while, and so all my saucy clothes are out the window. So I'm gonna try to find something a little sexy for Vegas. Um, and then I kind of want to get like a two-piece hiking set because we're gonna do some hiking and I want to take some cute pics while we're hiking. So, um, I'm gonna do that. Pretty much nothing else is on the agenda for today. I do need to clean the house. We have our neighbor coming over to watch our dog. So I want to clean the house, make sure it's like not gross for when we come back from vacation. We don't leave till tomorrow night. So I think I'm gonna clean tomorrow because I don't know about you guys, but I feel like the second I clean a house, if I'm living in it still, it gets messy like within an hour. And so I wanna clean it like right before we leave so it doesn't get a chance to get messy. I think I might pack today or tomorrow. I might pack tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'll try to take you guys along with me. Our closet is an absolute disaster, but it's organized chaos, I swear. This is the pile of stuff I'm for sure taking. These are maybes, these were my swimsuits, so. It makes sense. <laughs> and then here are some of the things Sage is taking. So I'm making him take this. He doesn't like this shirt, but I love it. Um, he's gonna take this Abercrombie shirt. It's green, it's so cute. I think this he might take for Vegas. I feel like this screams Las Vegas. And then, and then this is what he's gonna wear for our pictures in Joshua Tree. I'm still getting like used to my hair. It's still like so dark to me. Every time I see myself in the mirror, I'm like, ugh. But this is my outfit. Obviously, I'm not wearing just the bra out, but my sweatshirt I wanna wear is in the car. It's like a zip up, so I'm gonna wear that. These are from H&M. These are my favorite pants. If you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you know I love these pants. I wear them everywhere. Um, they're just sweatpants. And then my little baby Ugg slippers. 
Okay, I'm back home from shopping. It's been a couple hours and we got some things. So I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a haul. Basically, I was looking for something for Vegas. I think I said this already and then something to hike in. I don't know if I hit the jackpot for the Vegas outfit, but I got this dress yesterday or I tried on this dress yesterday from Abercrombie. It's really, really flattering. Like I look really good in it, but I don't know it's the Vegas vibe. Like I, it's not like what I pictured myself wearing in Vegas, but it's like form fitting. It looks really flattering. Sage really liked it. Like my other friend really liked it. So I ended up getting it. It was only $30, which for Abercrombie, I feel like is a pretty decent deal. Um, it's this blue color. The more I feel like I look at it, the more I'm not sure if it's Vegasy. It looks really good on me though. Not to toot my own horn, but it like flatters me really well. So it's this, um, you can't tell at all what it looks like. Um, <laughs> so it's this off the shoulder kind of like dress like this. So it looks like this and then it's, it's like ruched all the way down like this. And so it is super flattering. I can't say that enough. Like I feel great in it. It's just like not the vibe for Vegas, but I'm thinking if I wore like sparkly earrings and like heels and like did myself up, it would look more like night out, out like. I'm gonna show Sage. If I don't like it, I might literally just wear like a black dress and call it a day, but whatever, I can return it. And I got these earrings from Altered State. I wanted to get something because my doubles are pierced. Um, I got them pierced like a week or a month or two ago and I can take them out now. And so I wanted to get like little gold hoops and these ones were on clearance and they're also like um, gold dipped, which is good because I don't want to like have to change them out a lot. So I got these. They were originally $35 and they were only 10 So I feel like it's a cute little pack. And like, I don't know, they have little crosses that I could put in there. I think they're cute. So I got those. By the way, I shouldn't have spent any money at all. We're on a budget, but here I am. Also, I want to talk really briefly just about like consumer culture. I feel like I am very guilty of being influenced and I think it's very hard constantly looking at people that are consuming, 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 and like feeling like you need to also do the same thing. I follow a lot of influencers and I feel like, oh my gosh, like they buy all of these things for themselves. Like, why can't I do that? Why, why am I not able to do that? I think it's important to say that these people are making a significant amount of money based on their lifestyle. So keeping up that lifestyle and that image is really important to their job. And the average person does not consume that much and don't feel like you need to consume that much. Like I never want me to share links or like share anything and make you guys feel like you need to buy that even if it's like an ad or whatever. Like please only consume what you feel like you actually want and need to purchase. I don't know if that makes any sense but I feel like there's just so much like influencing going around and so many ads and so many like like the Stanley Cup for example. Did I need the Stanley Cup? No. It's just a water bottle. I have a bunch of them but like I felt like I had to have it because everyone else had it. And I never want to be someone that comes across as like oh my gosh like you should be cool like me and have X, Y, and Z. I try to share like a bunch of links of things either I have or don't have just because I think they're cute or I think they make your life easier or whatever but please don't ever feel like you have to consume more because of something you see me have or see any other influencers or people have on that note though I'm gonna show you what I got from TJ Maxx um, like I said we are trying to budget but I feel like what I purchased was pretty good purchases so this was only $12 and it's just like a white um, like sports bra but it's like one of the ones that's a little bit longer and I really like these I wear like I feel like I'll wear this all the time and like I said it was only 12 bucks I'll wear it to the gym all the time because I don't like wearing straight up like sports bras to the gym very much because I go to Planet Fitness and I feel like it's kind of like weird to do that there. Um, but I was a cheerleader and so like my whole life I've like worked out in a sports bra like that's how I prefer to work out. So I like working out in smaller tops. So I feel like this will be really cute and nice to work out in. I'm also going to bring this to California with me because we're going to do a bit of hiking. And then I really wanted like a matching set um, to wear to Joshua Tree when we hike. And so I got this one. It's got this beautiful pattern on it and it's really really soft material. And it ended up being only $25 for the set, which I thought was a very good price for this. It's like super buttery soft, like really, uh, the brand is um, RBX. It's the RBX brand. I don't think I have anything from this specific brand, but um, I feel like it's really cute and I'm really excited to try it on. So 
um that is everything i got and yesterday i got sage a couple things too i didn't show you guys i don't think but i got him a t-shirt from abercrombie and that says like west palm beach or something it's really cute it's brown and then i also got him um a like linen like shirt that's long sleeve was really really light and airy so i think he's gonna bring that on a trip as well so that is it for the shopping i think i'm gonna go in and i think i'm gonna pack tonight normally i like to pack like right before i go places but i feel like if I pack tonight, it gives me time to like think of what I'm forgetting and to actually pack that. So we're gonna pack together. I might do like a fun little TikTok of me packing as well. So I completely forgot to show you guys me packing, but um, I'm pretty much packed. I did film a TikTok of it though, clearly, as you can see. Sage gets the side of the suitcase because um, we're only doing one checked bag. So I'm all packed over here, I'll show you guys. So this is my first time really using packing cubes and honestly, I don't think I'll ever go back. I have all like my nice clothes in here, all my hiking clothes in here, all like my pajamas, like bra, underwear, not bra actually, but underwear, socks, all the things, bathing suit in there. I think I'm gonna put like my makeup and then my other shoes and maybe like a sweatshirt and things in my personal item. We're flying spirit, so that's why we're sharing a checked bag because the checked bags are like outrageously priced. And then I fit literally almost every piece of clothing like I need to in the suitcase. So I just have my makeup, hair tools, probably jewelry. I will say a fun little travel tip. I don't know if this is like a tip or it's just something I recently did, but I travel relatively often and now what I do is I just have a bag of like all of my travel like toiletries that I don't touch like none of it is like my normal stuff it's just like the travel size stuff for everything and I just keep it in the little clear bag and I just like dump it every time I go somewhere it has like my shampoo conditioner a toothbrush toothpaste moisturizer face wash might have a razor deodorant I think that's it but, like those are all things I already have one of like in my bathroom so I just leave it in the bag and it's really convenient because I am notorious for being like a mooch when I travel I never have all the things like I always forget toothpaste I always forget deodorant like I'm just a mooch because I'm like oh someone else will have it like I just won't bring it so I just have my little clear bag and it's really convenient but I think I'm gonna end the vlog here I'm contemplating vlogging my time in California see I've talked about this before but I have a hard time vlogging with like other people not because like I feel weird about it but because I don't want to make them feel weird about it and I know these people I'm going with like I know they don't but I never want people to be on camera if they don't feel like they want to be on camera like I already do that to Sage plenty I don't want to do it to my friends too so we'll see if I end up vlogging the trip or not if so you'll see it if not you'll see it through the Instagram stories. It's currently like 8 p.m. I'm gonna eat my beat-ups when Sage gets home. He probably won't get home till really late. And then I'll pack my bag tomorrow. I'm gonna clean the house tomorrow. Edit this video probably tomorrow so you guys see it. <laughs> but I think that is all. So thank you so much for hanging out with me the past couple days. It's been fun. I haven't vlogged in forever. So I really want to like get back into the swing of it. Even if it's just like regular old vlogs, I always tell myself like, oh, well, you're not doing anything like fun. You're not doing anything that people wanna see, but I don't know I feel like I just love watching people's day-to-day -day lives so maybe you guys like the same for me we'll see maybe you don't I don't really care but anyway I will let you guys go thank you so much for watching make sure you like subscribe follow all of the things and I will see you guys in my next vlog bye